Ah, yep. Chevy. Some people swear by them. Some people don't. Some people are Ford guys. Some people are GM. Some people are Dodge. Whatever your choice may be, you still end up in shit shows like this. So what we're doing here is we're doing the CPR on my engine here. Valve cover modification. What I call is a super mod. Super mod. So, Charles suggested on uh, crazeperformancerepair.com, his modification is to add these holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. You got eight cylinders, you don't really need any much over here. What happens is push rod oil shoots up through here, gets stuck behind this shield, and the shield is to allow air for this breather valve for vacuum from the engine. And the only way that oil gets back down into the engine is through this port right here, or this little bitty squeaky hole right there. So we add these holes in order to allow drainage to the bottom. Um, I was gonna open up this one a little bit, but I'm kind of reluctant to do that because it's so close to the port, being it's right here and right there, I don't want it to suck in any more oil than it is. This one's off to the side, so it should be okay. Plus that's where he had his. At any rate, that's what we're gonna do. Here's a special tool. Get the sharpest bit you got. This is 730 seconds. A very, very, very sharp bit. At any rate, once you drill those holes, it's very important to get yourself one of these deburring tools. Go inside here and deburr these holes both sides so that you don't have burrs holding up oil behind that plate. And you can continue on the next valve cover. We're going to do that one next. Maybe I'll show you after this one's clean. But do all your drilling and your deburring before you clean the valve cover. It's just a waste of time. Get yourself a good air hose, some good pneumatic air. I got 150 PSI at the hose. We're rocking and rolling. We're going to keep going late.